Hello my beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new, hi, my name is Victoria and I'm here to share with you my passion about makeup and skincare. So if you still haven't joined my family, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you will be notified about my future videos. Also follow me on Instagram and I have a TikTok account with the same user name. In today's video we're gonna finally review my boxy charm by Ipsy aka Ipsy Glambeck Plus and every month we are reviewing products that I'm getting in the box for checking everything out. Not every time it's an amazing exciting box for us but every time it's really interesting how everything's working out at the end of the video, how products work together, also what choices we get this or that month and what other new brands we are discovering together because that's the best part of this box that you are able to discover new stuff that potentially may become your stables. Um, a lot of things that I discovered in the box I absolutely loved, so I'm very grateful that I was able to get those uh, for the deal that we get, because we pay basically... I mean, at this point it's around $40. I'm sure it's gonna get higher. <laughs> like, it's going every single year, but everything's going up, so... Yeah, anyway, it's usually a deal. So let's not waste our time, let's jump right into this, like always, all the good stuff. And I got allergic reaction today, so my eye is a little puffed up. We're getting through that, so let's start probably from the card or newsletter that we got. Shall we? So the theme of the month is sunny days ahead. It said here, start your summer off bright with colors that pop, hydration heroes that keep you glowing, and so much more. I'm here for that. I don't want to start from the bad note, but I do want to mention that half of this box is basically the stuff that we already tried together, which is quite disappointing, not gonna lie. Some of the things I chose um, I already have as well, and we've seen this being reviewed on my channel, so I'm not gonna stop on that for a long time. I'm just gonna mention that. The reason why it's happened, so the choices were filled with things that either I already have or things that it just they just wouldn't work for me. So I had to go through that again. I had to pick up the products that I like, you know, but still the same stuff that I already have. So it wasn't very exciting for me, but I'm sure I'm gonna find somebody to gift it to. So we're gonna probably start from the eyeshadow palette. And the shadow palette that I got is actually the eyeshadow that Ipsy gave me a while ago. Exactly the same color story, exactly the same eyeshadow to the T. And I'm very sad to see this because, you know, when you subscribe to a box for a long time, they have to track this, they have to obviously see what you already got, especially when they're giving you this without any chance to choose. So it was a little disappointing, but I do like this formula. So we're gonna play with this all over again, but the new eyeshadow palette I'm gonna give to somebody, I'm gonna use today instead of the new one, the one that I already have. It's exactly the same one, just the version that I already played with. And this is Il Maquillage Color Ball Squad The Real Deal 990 that retails for $48. I like this formula, but I don't need another eyeshadow palette in the same color story. We're gonna play with this today though. There are four colors. It is made in Italy. It has 12 months of a shelf life. Also, we have seven color ranges to choose from. So if you do like this formula, you definitely have um, more than enough options to play with this. Most of the color stories are very neutral, which is cute. It has magnetic packaging, like all Il Maquillage products. Absolutely amazing. Love the packaging, love the nice size mirror very handy when you're traveling and uh, honestly the formula is quite nice too. So we're gonna play with this now and I don't want to stop on this for a very long time because I got something that I've already spoken about with you in one of my previous videos. So we're gonna just keep going and I do want to talk about the next product right away and this is gonna be another product that I already own but this time it's my choice. So this is Game Beauty Eyes on Me eyeshadow brush set that's supposedly $25. I love them, I use them. One of them is blend, another apply, smudge and detail brushes. So I do have them over here. Honestly, this set is quite nice. I liked it and I definitely use this on a daily basis. It is made in China. And let's real fast analyze my choices. So out of my choices, I had this time 
lip paint. The color is just crazy. I don't like peachy colors and this one looks like super nude. That was Ceramide Primer by Real Her. I have this one already and it's it's all right, but I mean, why would I need another one? I'm so sad. There was Honey Infused Hydration Mask. I wasn't interested in um, Refining Night Serum and Lip Liner Duo from Lunar Beauty that I already have as well. And it was very disappointing to see that there was no other things to choose from, but you know, the same stuff all over again. So I'm gonna create very easy but very satisfying look in a way that it's gonna be definitely a look for every day. I'm gonna start probably playing from this color and this one is gonna be Lush Life 962. It's a very lovely formula. It's very buttery, it's buildable, there is a pigment here, so you're not gonna have any problems. I did prep my eyes already. Mm, I'm wondering, should I start from the eye that's not giving me a hard time? Because this one is definitely still watering and that is not good. I don't even know what caused it, but something definitely did. I got allergic reaction. So something triggered this. Okay guys, so I am gonna go basically right into creating this eye look. I immediately jumped <laughs> into using other brushes, but I'm gonna come back to those brushes. I promise you guys, because I usually involve them in my eye look anyway, and uh, it's really easy for me to incorporate them when I'm creating an eye look. I'm very easily buffing this all over the eyelid and I am trying to make it look very nice and even, the blend very light and very wearable. So I'm filming this video after vacation and like I mentioned in my video while I was talking about Elf Foundation, I'm back <laughs> from the vacation. It was very lovely, it was very short but very lovely. But I got so sunburned, that is crazy. The craziest part is that I did use a sunscreen. If you would see my back, it looks crazy. Like it's not a good looking back right now. But you know, good moisturizer and good aloe will deal with that. Next, I'm gonna use this color that's called Own It, 955. With this color, I'm gonna use one of the brushes from this set, and this one is E04. And I'm gonna really lightly buff it underneath my eyelid, basically on the lower lash line. Next, I'm gonna use brush that's called E02. And with this brush, I'm gonna use the same color, but I'm gonna basically apply this on my outer portion on the top lash line. Kinda like to make it a little more smoked out, but it's so hot outside that I don't want this look to be super heavy because, I mean, I really don't want a lot of makeup right now. I just want something very natural, very skin-like and very, you know, wearable. I mean, for me, everything is wearable at this point, but this particular look, I want it to be more subtle. Okay, so I'm just trying to make it nice and even. And then let's try another color. And this one is gonna be No Bullshit 967. And it's gonna be this, like, rustic color. And this one has, like, a shimmery finish. So it's definitely gonna add something different to this look. And I'm applying this to the center of the eyelid. This one is very creamy, very lovely, very easy and super non-problematic. You guys definitely know I love using my finger for shimmers. It's just melting the product so well and I don't mind this. I do mind using my finger for any type of makeup application, but for my shadows, I don't mind it. And the last color we have left is gonna be Keep Rolling. It's gonna be the lightest shimmer. And with this color, I'm gonna kind of like make my inner portion a little lighter, but I don't want it to look crazy. You have definitely ability to use a wet brush for this and make it a little more popping, but at this point, I want something a little softer. Then I'm gonna use brush that's called E05, and with this brush, I'm gonna highlight my inner corners. And it does look quite nice. All together, very subtle, nothing crazy, definitely like everyday type of eyeshadow that you can grab and go, or you can travel with if you don't like to play with colors, very safe. And I'm kind of like dragging this towards my lower lash line a little bit, just to like open my eye a little more. Then I'm gonna use brush that's called E02, and I'm gonna kind of like clean up this area to make sure everything is blended in. And then finally I'm gonna use last brush, it's called E01, and with this brush I'm gonna just go over and clean up the edges to make them more blended. Next I'm gonna try to find... Hmm, I wanna find... Oh, here you go. There's a brown liner. This is from Bodyography. It's a black walnut eye pencil. And I'm gonna just apply this to my waterline. Okay, and then I'm gonna add mascara and I'm gonna be right back. We're gonna talk about the next product. But so far, I do really like this look. I feel like it's very subtle. It's very nice. 
there is nothing extraordinary about those colors blending into each other. It's a good solid formula and we tried this before so I'm not gonna step on this for a very long time. Let me just do my mascara and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. My makeup is almost fully done. You know what I'm looking right now at my eye look and I do want to clean up a little bit this area here just to make it a little more blended and softer. So now I think I'm going to show you my other choice and this one is going to be a hair care item. This is Briogeo Superfoods Avocado Plus Kiwi Moisture Leave-In Conditioner that retails for $25. I'm always down to try new conditioners, especially milky ones. So I really don't like, not me personally, but my hair doesn't like when the conditioner is either way too heavy or way too light so I'm trying to find that perfect milky consistency that would be not too heavy but still would give me that level of hydration I need so I've heard a lot of people complain about the scent of this product I don't mind this I do smell avocado I do smell kiwi and I do smell I think some kind of uh, superfood it doesn't bother me but it's definitely very organic. They are vegan cruelty free. The thing about all of the products, I do really appreciate that they use real fruit and real um, veggies. I'm gonna say it like that. The thing about their shampoos and other stuff, you do need to look at the colors. Colors have differs. When I used to work at Sephora, you could see in a shampoo that a lot of fruit particles would settle down on the bottom of the bottle and it wouldn't look so you know it wouldn't look very appealing because of the way how fruit would settle in every shampoo would look different based on the batch or based on the uh, amount of time it was sitting on the shelf and there's so much stuff was going on this looks quite nice to me the color looks good it doesn't look like it's something that i should be concerned about but always you know pay attention the other thing the smell is because of the ingredients i mean if you don't like the smell of all of these ingredients you definitely will not like the smell of this product because they don't use those artificial fragrances they make it very natural very nice i did read another review that was very unfortunate uh, people saying that when they wash their hair after this it it was even worse than before. So the thing about leave-in conditioner, you do need to leave it on your hair and this is such a big thing because it needs time to absorb into your hair follicles and actually give you that benefit that you're looking for. It's supposed to condition, it's supposed to protect your hair from UV lights and also it's supposed to detangle. So I'm very curious to see how it's gonna work for my hair considering that my hair has been damaged and because it's colored, it's damaged. But my hair is very particular. Um, I do need quite a bit of time for this to get used to a new product. So I'll definitely update you guys about this product. That's for sure. You are getting here 18 months of a shelf life, 170 milliliters, and it's made in USA. Supposedly it's good for all hair types, so if you have straight or coily hair, it will work for either or. Basically, it's pretty universal. I'm very curious to see how it's gonna work for me. Again, we have here kiwi, we have here chia seed, we have here kale, we have here avocado oil, we have here cocoa seed butter, so many good organic ingredients that potentially may benefit your hair quite a bit in the long run. So I'm very excited, I'm gonna definitely use it. I'm gonna probably use it tonight and then probably one or two more times to fully get to know this product and feel it so I can share my thoughts about this with you guys. Let's real fast dive into my choice section and here I had first choice that was a fragrance that I already got. Shocker, shocker. Then it was three in one stick that I have so many sticks right now and honestly I used today one of the cream blushes in a stick and I very much like it but just way too many blushes for me for this period of time. There was mascara from Half K Baked. and I just got also many many new mascaras to review and I don't think I need one more. There was pantanol serum and facial exfoliant and I felt like I do really want to give a shot Briogeo because this is something that I was eyeing for a very long time and it was most of the time sold out on Sephora so it's probably a good sign hopefully. The other product is going to be Ipsy Pick and this one is going to be a skincare product that I definitely have to give it a second chance because my first impression wasn't quite the best but here you have it. This one is a glow recipe avocado ceramide moisture barrier cleanser that retails for $28. It's a gentle hydrating cleanser that's packed with ceramides and colloidal oatmeal. It's definitely going to nourish your skin while cleaning from the excess of oil, sebum, um your makeup and all that bad stuff that just sits on your face after a whole day of, you know, doing your own stuff, minding your own business. This product 
has very interesting consistency so it's kind of like a creamy gel to foam consistency it is really easily foaming when they just launched this and just put this in a store i was able to bring this home and actually try this what happened with my experience why it wasn't so good is oh wow my eyes just literally watering i use this like i normally use so usually i do double cleansing first thing that i use it's going to be either cleanser or a cleansing balm in that case i had a cleanser and then i use my micellar water so i use this first and it burned the hell out of my eyes i feel like my eyes is watering now for a reason because it remembers this product i'm just joking but it burned my eyes so bad i definitely wasn't happy it felt really nice on the skin overall but my eye area was just on fire so i definitely would recommend you to do double cleansing with this being a second product and just avoid this being around your eyes the thing about this packaging when i looked around and actually was very you know reading through this very carefully it says here avoid direct contact with eyes yeah this small letter in here saying that basically don't use this on your eye area so yeah something for you guys to know i don't know do you do double cleansing if you do that's perfect just use this as a second step if you don't do double cleansing and you're planning to use this for your eye makeup too i probably wouldn't do that because it's gonna burn the hell out of your eyes just like it did on mine but i'm gonna give it a second chance i'm usually switching my skincare routine so it's okay i'm gonna slowly involve this in my skincare routine we're gonna see how it's gonna go it is made in korea it has 12 months of its shelf life and i do really like glow recipe and this is such a bummer that this cleanser wasn't something that would be very beneficial for my eye makeup as well but it does give you a lot of benefits from one side from the other side you're washing this out of your face so it's good to have those benefits for like um you know when using a serum or moisturizer or toner anything like that but when you have this in cleanser i don't know how beneficial it actually is you guys tell me if you feel like you know this is something that you you want to have in your cleanser as well like ceramides colloidal oatmeal actually colloidal oatmeal is very nice because it makes it even more gentle which is absolutely amazing um, but there's also avocado oil there's also prebiotics and postbiotics so there's many many benefits but how beneficial they are in the cleanser you guys tell me and we're gonna end this whole situation with another my choice and this one is gonna be a lip product so i got here two lip glosses and this is pink lips cosmetics lip gloss duo that retails for 20 dollars it's vegan cruelty free it's a hydrating lip gloss duo that's created in partnership with ipsy so you're getting basically two baby lip glosses i'm calling them babies because of the applicators if i'll show you the applicators they're like tiny baby applicators i tried this in my tiktok video because i had a little more time for my like short videos to film short videos you need to kind of like build the color at this point because when you're applying this right away it doesn't give you as much of the pigment and color it's very comfy on the lips it's not sticky it gives you very nice shiny glossy finish it has 12 months of a shelf life made in china smells very sweet very yummy so one of the colors is like a very light pinky color it has nice shine to it but look i'm just spreading this and i need to build this to the point that you know it's gonna show up the applicator is exactly the same like you're getting in sephora like those disposable ones so it's not something that i would pay 20 dollars for necessarily the formula is nice though so if you got this enjoy this but by being so picky like i am i wouldn't spend my 20 dollars on something like that considering that the applicator is so basic you know what I mean? You do have here 3.5 milliliters in each of them. Smells very nice, very comfy, like first color looks adorable, very nice, very juicy. Doesn't taste good, but very, very comfortable, super comfortable. It also infused with vitamin E, so that's why it's so comfortable on the lips, because it's very hydrating. I like the formula, smells amazing super sweet super yummy the other color is shinier but again the same applicator that gives you a trouble this one has a lot of shimmer pieces like i'm not really be able to show you because it's so light this would be such a lovely color to apply on the top of the lip liner or the lipstick and because of those shimmery pieces it's such a high shine product which is quite lovely okay guys i'm gonna definitely use it the formula is great it just uh, the applicator gets me and they feel a little cheaper packaging wise but i'm still very happy to get them because this is just a lip gloss that you're gonna throw in your purse and you're gonna use it and have no problems 
whatsoever and real fast i do want to show you my choice section so first product it was here it was eye stick that if you're watching my videos you definitely know i'm not a big fan of i'm not looking for this type of product at all lip gasm lipstick i already have um pressed highlighter looks a little too deep for me honestly i'm I don't know, wasn't crazy about that. Power retinol eye masks, no. And brightening body scrub, no, thank you. Even though I like refreshments, it wasn't something that I would go for. So lip gloss it is. Okay, guys, so real fast, what I'm excited about, what I'm not excited about. I'm definitely excited about this Briogeo Living Conditioner. I'm happy to try this. I was eyeing this for a long time. I'm gonna give another chance for my Glow Recipe Cleanser. I'm gonna definitely let you know either in my description box if I'll have enough time before posting this or maybe, I don't know, maybe in one of my next videos, I guess. Lip glosses are quite nice, quite comfortable. The applicator is not the best, but overall it's a nice solid formula. Definitely smells amazing, smells very yummy, very sweet. I like the smell, I like the feel of it too. The shadows are nice, everyday shadows. I wouldn't go out of my way to purchase this necessarily because of the price point, but I like Il Maquillage. I really appreciate the way how they create their packaging, every detail and every small thing that they create to make it special, make it different and make it very luxe filling. So yeah, that was a win, I'd say. And the eyeshadow brushes are nice. I use them on a daily basis, so this is something that I definitely would recommend you to check out. I wouldn't buy this for $25 just because so many people resell them, so I would definitely find this um, on a site where somebody's reselling them for like half price and I would get them because they are they are lovely. They're definitely lovely. So let me tell you the total price of this month's BoxyCharm by Ipsy. And the total price is $146. It's quite a good deal, considering even that I would definitely purchase this eventually. And if it's a good product, I will potentially discover something new for myself that I can use on a daily basis. I'm going to use those brushes. The new ones I'm going to definitely give to somebody. Same with eyeshadow. So I don't think it's something that's going to be wasted. At least I hope not. I don't know how people usually accept gifts and what they do with them, but, you know, from my type of view, this is not going to be wasted. I don't know about cleanser, but, you know, the deal we got, it's definitely a deal. So, yeah, that's what we got this month. Definitely leave me your comments down below. Let me know what you think about this look. What do you think about those products? How do you feel about Ipsy showing and pushing on you the same products all over again? Do you feel like this is something that keeps you in a loop and actually makes you, you know, replenish your stuff or maybe get something that you absolutely love and gift it to your friend or family? I mean, this is a good, good opportunity for you to actually share products you like with somebody, like, you know, for example, brushes that I'm gonna share or, you know, eyeshadow palette. Or do you think you would prefer checking new products and actually Ipsy keeping track of stuff you're getting, you know, so you wouldn't get the same stuff all over again. Leave me a comments down below. I'd love to know your opinion, guys, like always. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and all the good jazz. And like always, let's learn the Ukrainian word. And in today's video, I want to tell you how to say a fruit in Ukrainian. So if you want to say fruit in Ukrainian, you would say it like frukt, frukt, frukt. And yeah, guys, thank you so much for staying until the end of this video. I love you all very much, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.